Thanks for joining us at Gaijin in Chicago today. I'm Julius White. I'm the general manager and beverage director here. Uh, today, in partnership with the Green City Market Barbecue, we're going to be doing a savory seasonal highball. We're going to start with a little Suntory Roku Gin. Then we have a beautiful seasoned tomato water from locally grown cherry tomatoes. To produce this, we just uh, take the tomatoes and then blend them together, season them with a little bit of salt, and then let them drain overnight. We spice this cocktail up with a little bit of our house-made ginger syrup, along with some fresh lemon for a little additional acidity. little ice here and then we're going to go over to our Harazaki Suntory highball machine get some high pressure club soda then agitate that to incorporate the ingredients and then stir just to dilute and chill a little more and then for our garnish we've got one of the cherry tomatoes that we worked with along with candy dried ginger and there you have it our uh, savory seasonal highball, which would be an awesome pairing with Chef Ferrant's uh, Japanese eggplant dish. So for my Green City Market inspired dish, I want to do a quintessential Japanese dish, which is marinated eggplant. So the eggplant to look for for this particular dish is the Japanese eggplant. So the first thing is prepping the eggplant, right? So we're, you know, we've, we've washed the eggplant. We're going to trim the ends on the eggplant, okay? And then you can actually slice the eggplant lengthwise, okay? Which we're going to do that right now. Ultimately, I'm looking for about a half inch sliced Japanese eggplant, okay? Okay, so we've, we've cut them in half lengthwise. Then I'm going to cut about a half inch bias slice. And when I, when I mean a bias slice, it's on an angle slice, okay? We're going to do that. And then the key with eggplant, like eggplant has kind of a bitter element to it. So, and like a lot of vegetables, they contain a ton of water. So what I like to do, whether it's making eggplant Parmesan, or in this case, this fried and marinated eggplant, I like to salt the eggplant in advance. So whatever quantity of eggplant, do 1.5% of that salt, okay? So what I'll do, so you got your eggplant cut, and you'll lose a little bit of the volume. I think hence, that's why I want to cut it a little, a little, a little, a little thicker like that. So we got 1.5% salt, okay? And then just mix in the salt, okay? And then what you'll do, because it will drip off some water, is you're gonna, you're gonna place the eggplant in a colander, right? And then what I would probably do in this case is use the same bowl and you want to press the eggplant. So I would weigh this down with some water or some other weights, right? And I would do that for an hour, okay? So that's the first step. So it's been an hour, eggplant's been pressing. So now we're gonna pat dry the eggplant. So old kitchen towels, paper towels, okay? And you can see there's a lot of moisture that's left on the eggplant. So we're gonna get this patted dry. Another layer of towels on the top, and then you're really gonna press them, but the more you dry them out, the drier they will fry, if that makes any sense. And you can see all that moisture coming off of the eggplant, right? So I really, like, I'm putting, you know, I'm putting all 150 pounds of my weight into this. Okay. All right, maybe it was a little more than 150 pounds, maybe. All right, so there we go. So that's the eggplant. So now it's ready to fry, okay? So let's talk about the dressing. So, I mean, technically you probably don't have to heat this stuff up, but I think it's more effective just to marry all the, all the ingredients. So we have dashi, okay? So dashi is one of the most quintessential ingredients in Japanese food. And it's basically a combination of kombu or kelp stock with bonito flakes added to it. And dashi is, you know, it's the base of miso soup. It's the base of a lot of different things. So we have a cup of dashi. 
okay? We have two ounces of ponzu. Then we have some mirin that we add to as well. And then last but not least, we have soy sauce or shoyu. And that's it. So we're gonna just quickly bring this up to a boil and, and turn it off the heat, okay? So while, that's, while, while we're doing the dressing, we have some scallions. You know, scallions is what is typically used, but you could use, you know, regular onions or shallots. I mean, there's incredible alliums at the Green City Market. For a couple pounds of eggplant, I use four scallions, right? Okay, so we're just gonna slice the scallions on a bias. Again, on an angle. And these will go in, in the marinade with the eggplant. So the, um, the marinade is coming up to a boil. So I'm gonna slide over here. So I'm gonna pour those hot right over the scallions. I like to do that because it just sort of blooms, it kind of cooks the scallions a little bit, provides a little bit of flavor. And then next move is frying the eggplant. Drop them in the fryer. And typically, you know, you're looking for golden brown, two to three minutes. Eggplants come out, and then we're gonna go right in the marinade. We're gonna let this kind of make sure that it's tossed in the dressing and then it's ready to go. You know, this is an easy dish to do a large amount of if you're having friends over, okay? So a nice plate of the eggplant. And then traditionally the, the Japanese garnish with the, with, with the bonito flakes. So there you have it. Japanese eggplant marinated in shoyu, ponzu, mirin, and dashi with some scallions. Benito Flakes. Hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you guys try this at home and enjoy the barbecue. Thank you.